So I now want to talk to you guys about collinear points in space or in three dimensions. So to begin, let's recall that for points in the plane, for points in R2, we say that two or more points are collinear if they exist on the same line. So we now need to go ahead and establish some strategy for determining if three points are collinear in three dimensions or in space. So to begin, let's let A, B, and C be three points in space or in R3. So how do we check if these three points are on the same line? Well, the first thing that we need to do is find two vectors using these three points. So we want to find two vectors using these points. And for simplicity, I'm always going to use the same initial point. So I'll say one of these vectors will be AB, and the other vector will be AC. It just helps us to remember if we use the same initial point. Keep in mind though that of course you could use BA as your vector and then use BC as your vector. We could also go crazy and use AC as our vector and then AB as the vector. Any of these three combinations will work. You only need one. So for the sake of this strategy, let's use our first two vectors here, vector AB and vector AC. So now that we have determined the components of these vectors, how do we check if they're collinear? Well, think back to arithmetic with vectors. We know that two vectors are on the same line if they're parallel. So to check if these three points are on the same line, we want to determine if these vectors are parallel. So determine if the vectors are parallel. And how do we determine if two vectors are parallel? Well, we need to determine if these vectors are scalar multiples of each other. So we can say that if vector AB is a scalar multiple of vector AC, of course this is such that C is that scalar value, then vectors AB and AC are parallel, which further implies that therefore point A, point B, and point C are collinear. They exist on the same line. So if vectors A and B are parallel to each other, then the points are collinear. And very similarly, if vector AB is not a scalar multiple of vector AC, and this is such that C is that scalar value, then we are able to conclude that these two vectors are not parallel. So then vector AB and vector AC are not parallel, which allows us to conclude that therefore point A, point B, and point C are not on the same line, or they're not collinear. So here is our strategy for determining if three points are collinear. The first thing that we do is find two vectors using those points. And again, it's always going to be easiest if we simply use the same initial point. Once you have those two vectors, we then want to check if the vectors are parallel. If the vectors are in fact parallel, as case one shows, then our three points are collinear. However, if those two vectors are not parallel to each other, then those three points are not collinear. So let's go ahead and take a moment and think about what this looks like graphically. So here is our beautiful vector. We'll call this one AB. So we have the initial point at A and our terminal point here at B. And now we'll say here is our second vector, 
AC. And it has the same initial point. So our initial point here is again still at A, but the second vector has a terminal point at C. So these vectors are parallel, they're scalar multiples of each other. And to confirm that these three ordered triplets are collinear, we can draw a line along the vectors. So we've confirmed our first conclusion here. We can say that therefore the ordered triplets A, B, and C are collinear or they exist on the same line if the vectors that are composed by these ordered triplets are parallel. So let's think about case two now. So again, we have our beautiful vector AB. So here is that initial point at A, and we have our terminal point at B. And now let's go ahead and suppose that the vector AC looks like this. So again, we have that same initial point at a. But now this terminal point C has shifted. So we can see that these vectors are not parallel. And to confirm that as a result, these three ordered triplets are not collinear, we'll again attempt to draw a line, a straight line, connecting the three of them. But here, notice how we have to draw two separate lines to connect all three points. So we can see down here with case two, that therefore, A, B, and C, these ordered triplets, are not collinear if the vectors that are composed by these three points are not parallel. So A, B, and C are not collinear if vector A, B, and vector A, C are not parallel. So let's go ahead now and look at an example. Determine if the following three ordered triplets are collinear. So we have the ordered triplet 1, negative 2, 3. We have the ordered triplet 2, 1, 0. And we have the ordered triplet 4, 7, negative 6. So just to get us started here, let's label these points. I'll say this is point A, here is point B, and here is point C. So the first thing that we need to do in order to determine if these three points in space exist on the same line is to define two vectors using the points. So we want to define two vectors using these three ordered triplets. And I'm going to use AB or vector AB and vector AC. So I have the same initial point. So here we go. Let's find the components. Keeping in mind, it's always terminal minus initial. So we have the vector AB. So this will be 2 minus 1, 1 minus A minus 2, 0 minus 3, which leaves us with the vector 1, 3 minus 3. And now similarly for vector AC, to find the components again, we do terminal minus initial. So this will be 4 minus 1, 7 minus a minus 2, and then we have negative 6 minus 3. So this leaves us with, we have 3, 9, negative 9. So here are our two vectors. So step two, we need to determine if the vectors are parallel. So we want to determine if these are scalar multiples of each other. So determine if vector AB and vector AC are parallel. So looking at these two vectors here, I want to start by thinking about vector AC. And I'm choosing to start with vector AC because I realize, hey, this vector has, a, or each component in this vector has a greatest common factor of 3. So let's pull that out. So if I pull that scalar multiple out in front, I have 3 times the vector 1, 3, minus 3, which is equal to 3 times vector AB. Woohoo! So therefore, we have concluded, or we've shown here, that vector AC is a scalar multiple of vector AB, which means that the vectors are parallel. So since these vectors are parallel, we can make the final conclusion that therefore 
points A, B, and C exist on the same line. So they are collinear. Woohoo! And this is our beautiful final answer.